On this James the Bike Guy, we're going to take a look at the 2020 Specialized Roubaix. This is the entry level carbon fiber Roubaix from Specialized. We're going to go into some of the design, styles, and features of this bike, as well as find out what it weighs. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. So taking a look at this bike, the first thing to mention is the Specialized Roubaix is the endurance geometry version of Specialized Road Bikes. So this has a more upright position, a little bit shorter reach than say a traditional performance bike, but it's still gonna have a lot of technology to make sure that this goes fast while keeping you comfortable. Now, to get started with that, I think the first thing that we should get out of the way is the Future Shock. So this has Specialized Future Shock 1.5 with the smooth boot. So this is nice and smooth there. Uh, it's much better looking than the previous generation. And what this allows for is actually suspension in the front end. And instead of suspending the bike, it actually suspends the rider, which doesn't slow down momentum. So it allows the bike to kind of keep pace uh, as well as maintain frame geometry even under braking. Now the other unique thing to this bike to get started with is of course in the rear end. So if you look at the seat stay to top tube junction, it's kind of an interesting look and that's because there's actually a drop clamp for the integrated seat post. Now they do that so that the seat post can actually flex backwards on the bike and that allows for again suspending the rider and keeping them very comfortable. Now the frame itself this is a full carbon fiber frame. The carbon fiber is 10R, which is specialized kind of mid-level carbon fiber. So even though this is entry level into specialized lineup, it is a 10R frame, uh, which is quite nice. And one of the other really neat features is on the 10R frame, it actually runs a threaded bottom bracket. Now, the 10R frame of the new specialized Roubaix uses what they call free foil shape tubes and what that means is these are all uh, D shape or uh, other aerodynamic style shapes and while they're allowing the bike to be very comfortable and pretty lightweight they actually also allow it to be uh, as aerodynamic as a traditional aero bike from a few years past. The other really neat thing with the Specialized Roubaix carbon frame is this uses rider first engineered technology which means that each frame size has its own tubing selection uh, as well as sizing and that sort of thing which allows for the bike to ride very similar from the smallest even to the largest size you know some bikes they use the same tubing selection so the little bikes are way too stiff and the big bikes are a bit too soft now looking at some of the componentry on the bike we'll start off with the base model Roubaix runs a Tiagra 10-speed drivetrain. So this Tiagra 10-speed drivetrain is going to run through a 10-speed 1134 cassette on the back. And then up front, you're going to run a Praxis Works Alba crankset, which has cold forged chain rings. And these chain rings themselves are going to be a 5034 size. Shifting up front is, of course, a long arm Tiagra Brazon front derailleur. And then for the shifters on this bike, it's actually using something really neat. So this is the brand new Tiagra hydraulic 10 speed shifters. So before there was a generic branded Shimano shifter that was being used. But in this case, we now have Tiagra shifters, which are going to give a very nice feeling to, uh, to you in your hands. Now you'll also notice this has sort of the short reach version and I've got a video about the short reach 105 levers uh, down in the description so go ahead and take a look and see what I mean by that. Now for cockpit this of course is running the specialized hover bar. This is the comp aluminum version of the hover bar which is going to be a nice short and shallow reach to it and then it's going to have a 15 millimeter rise while going through a specialized 3D forged stem onto that Future Shock 1.5. Now for the saddle, Specialized puts on one of the better saddles available and a very good saddle for something coming stock on the bike. So this saddle itself is the Specialized Power Sport Saddle, which means it's going to come with chromoly rails, 
uh, and then it's going to be in a 143 millimeter size. For tires on this bike, it's going to run the Specialized Aspore Sport Black Belt tire in a 700 by 28. So this is going to be a pretty durable tire that's 60 TPI, and even though it's a wire bead, it's still going to roll well, but this might be your first spot to upgrade. Now for wheels, it has the Axis Sport Disc wheels. These wheels are pretty neat. They're a 21 millimeter internal rim, uh, nice profile to them, and it's going to be laced up using 2.0 J-Bend spokes. Now on the front, the hub itself is going to be a six bolt uh, hub with 12 by 100 through axle up front, and then in the rear, six bolt 12 by 142 spacing. For brakes on this bike, it's running the Tiagra hydraulic disc brakes with a 160 millimeter rotor front and rear, and of course, their flat mount disc brakes. So overall, the design of this bike is quite nice. I, I gotta say, I think uh, it's a pretty nice bike, especially for the money. You know, for an entry level carbon fiber price point with a very high end frame and great suspension technology, this is a pretty cool setup. So let's go ahead and find out what it weighs. So the 2020 Specialized Roubaix in a size 54 is going to come in and weigh 20.33 pounds. Thanks for watching this James the Bike Guy on the 2020 Specialized Roubaix. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you want to see more about these bikes, I have another video of this posted in the description. And while you're at it, be sure that you hit the subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future.